Hi everyone, it's Mike here. Thanks for joining me for another Art Journal page start to finish video. Today I'm working in a brand new 5x7 Dilutions Art Journal. So I'm going to begin by sticking down this uh, sheet of napkin that I recently purchased from my local supermarket. Beautiful pattern with butterflies all over it. So all I'm going to do is just tear it to size and then I'm just going to glue the whole thing down as is with Mod Podge, with matte medium from Mod Podge. Now I have already removed the additional plies from the back of this napkin, so it is just the top ply. Now that it's all stuck down, I'm going to give the top of the napkin a liberal coating just to make sure that it is also sealed from the top as well. Once the top is completely coated, I'm going to just quickly heat seal it with my heat tool to make sure it's all nice and dry before we move on to our next stage. So next I'm just going to add a thin coat of white gesso which has been watered down just over the top of the napkin just to knock some of those colours back because it is quite a striking pattern and I don't want that to clash too much with my main um, design for the page. So I'm just going to apply that coat all the way across and then give it again, again give it a heat blast with my heat tool just to make sure it's all nice and dry and then I can see whether or not I need to add any more or whether or not that's enough. So now it's dry, I decided that I didn't particularly like the fact that it was still quite visible. So I wanted to add another colour over the top, something which was off-white this time. So I've chosen a flesh colour from the Ducrafts Artiste range of acrylic paints. And these are very, very inexpensive, so you know, very, very affordable. And all I'm going to do is just give the page a wash with that, just with a little bit of water just to try and knock some of those butterfly designs back a bit. I want them more in the background than prominent. So next I'm going to add some text stamp over the top of that. Now this is a very old stamp that's actually fallen off the block now. And I'm just going to use some 
a sepia archival link from Ranger and I'm just going to randomly stamp around the page, not very evenly, just randomly without trying to get too much of a, a pristine impression. I just want it a bit grungy. So I'm going to start layering some stencils next. So the first one I've chosen is the Tim Holtz wood grain from Stampers Anonymous. And I'm going to use that sepia archiver link again. Now this is the first time I've actually used this stencil, although I've had it for quite some time. I've not actually used it on a page yet. And I have to admit, I don't think it's very, very good. It, um, it's not a particular good, strong stencil. Every time you use it, it does keep um, bending. So not, a favourite one. So next I'm going to show you my Madame Butterfly digital collage sheet. This is the composite sheet. This is all together already on the sheet and I've already cut it out from the, the printout that I've done and I'm just going to use a Spice Marmalade Distress Marker just to go around the edges just to hide those white edges where I've cut her out um, because my skills at cutting out are not 100% so using the marker around the edges does help to disguise any sort of nicks or any um, bad cuts if you like so I'm just going to go all the way around with that and then I'm going to be ready to stick her down on my page. The 5x7 digital collage sheet is now available on my Etsy store as is the 8x10 version. So you have both sizes for the large journals and also for the small now. Now she's all ready to be stuck down. I just wanted to add one more layer from this stencil here and I'm just going to use the archival ink which is the saffron colour and this stencil is called Mandala and is from Imagination Crafts here in the UK. So I'm going to apply the yellow ink through this stencil and then I'm going to bring out the red vermilion and I'm also going to add that through this stencil too. So here it is, the Vermilion Archival Ink, and I'm using the same stencil because I want to keep the same sort of pattern. So all I've done is just turned it slightly and then used a different coloured ink to apply it to the page. So I'm applying this next layer, um, and because I've used that, a different coloured ink, it does give a different effect. Now that I'm happy with the stencil layers, I'm going to bring back my Madam Butterfly once I've given that archival link a bit of a blast to make sure it's all nice and dry. And I'm just going to use some multi-purpose glue. This is from Colol, and I'm just going to stick down the main image. Because I've used the multi-purpose glue it does give me a little wiggle room because you can move it a little bit to position it on the page which is why I like using the glue. So now I'm happy with that. The next step is to bring in the remaining pages from the digital collage sheet and I'm just choosing which of the quotes I'm going to use that are on there and then going to find some scissors. And here's something you don't often see, me actually cutting out. So here are my scissor skills in action. So whenever I'm cutting a butterfly out or any kind of insect that's got antennas such as the butterfly does, I'm always asked, do I try and cut them out? To which I always reply, yes, which is a complete lie. Of course I don't. Who's got time to stand or sit and try and cut out a pair of antennas like that? If you want them, 
draw them back in again afterwards and don't waste your life. Okay, so now all my bits are cut out, I'm just going to bring that spice marmalade distress ink marker back again and just go around the butterfly where I may have just, you know, slightly made a miscalculation with my cutting out, which obviously never happens at all. So using the same glue, the Colol Multipurpose, I'm going to just apply that to the back of the butterfly and then stick that down on the opposite page. And then I'm going to grab my four little quote blocks because we have four lines that form our quote, which I will show you what they say in a moment. And I'm just going to stick those down. And like I said before, this glue does have or doesn't have an immediate grab. It does give you a little bit of a wiggle room. And it's also one of those types of glues that if you do get some on the top if or on your fingers or whatever then it just rubs straight off it goes into kind of like a rubbery kind of um, well i'm not going to say it anyway it just kind of rolls straight off without any residue being left behind whatsoever So I'm just going to stick down the last of my quote lines there and just give it a bit of a push and then I'm going to find that pair of scissors and we're going to remove the excess tissue from around the edges of our page now because we don't need them protecting any longer. Okay, all nice and tidy and we're all ready to move on to the next stage, which means I'm going to go and find my black Stabilo oil pencil that I haven't used for absolutely ages. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of the black pencil just around the right hand side of her head and headdress and a little bit on the underside of the quotes and on the right hand side of the butterfly too or wherever I want to add a little bit of a shadow effect. So we're going to try and make this just pop a little bit from the page, make it look a little bit 3D and then I'm going to break out my aqua brush. So I'm just gently activating the pigment from the pencil and then I'm just going to blend it out using a little bit of water from the brush and my finger and just try and soften those edges so they're not too dark but just adding a kind of shadow effect underneath. Now you can keep on adding the shadow or keep on applying the water and it does soften it providing you don't allow it to dry. So if you can get back in there while it's still wet, you can add a little bit more water and it will soften out and then you can play with it until your, until your hat's content, until you're happy with it, which is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to keep on applying the water until it kind of starts to soften to the degree that I want it to soften to.
Okay, I think we're just about done with this. So let's take a close look at the butterfly, which says, love is like a butterfly. It's soft and gentle as a sigh. The multicolored moods of love are like its satin wings from the song by the same name by Dolly Parton. So I hope you've enjoyed that quick art journal page using my Madam Butterfly 5x7 digital collage sheet. And if you have, please give my video a thumbs up so YouTube know that you want to see more from me. And they will also recommend my channel and my videos to other people who may not have yet heard of me. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, you can do so by clicking the button at the end of the video. So that's all from me. Thanks again for watching and I will see you all again real soon. Bye for now.